Searching for a killer in the stabbing deaths of two people, including a 14-year-old girl. Take a look at these photographs here. This is the man police say they're trying to desperately hunt down the Delhi attack taking place in Decatur. 11 Allies Faith Abube is at the scene where this gruesome incident played out. And Faith, what do you know about the victims? Well, so far, police have identified one victim. They're waiting to notify the family members of the second victim, who we know is a man, in order for them to give us any more information. But in the meantime, we're standing right outside the apartment where this happened. And you can see over my right shoulder here a growing memorial for the 14-year-old girl identified in this murder. A social media video friends of Shaikia Ward shared with 11 Alive show a teenager full of life. But she was a sweet little girl. That life cut short Sunday when police say a 36-year-old man stabbed and killed the teenager along with an unidentified male inside this apartment. No, don't no child deserve nothing like that. Officers responded to the Trinity Walk Apartments in Decatur around 945 Sunday morning on a stabbing call and found two deceased victims. Sergeant John Bender says they noticed something else missing. The 2014 silver Mercedes convertible was taken and it's uh, currently we're looking for it. Pictures from Decatur police show this man, Roy Stewart, getting into that vehicle. Police have named him as the suspect in the deadly stabbings and say he's related to the deceased teenager. Anytime a 14 year old is killed, all of us have children. Um, we're going to do everything we can to get Mr. Stewart and bring him into custody. We never thought none of this would have happened over here. It's sad. And this crime happened literally across the street from the Decatur Police Department. Police want you to be on the lookout for that Ford Mustang convertible. We have a photo of that vehicle on our website, 11alive.com. You can head over there, take another look at it, as well as the license plate number and a picture of that suspect they're looking for right now, Vaughn. Yeah, Faith, good information there. Hopefully someone will come forward. Thanks a lot for the update. We'll see you on the late feed.